<laughs> you will probably wonder if I'm shifting, right? No, I'm not shifting. Don't get worried. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still staying where I stay, guys. Welcome to today's episode. Here is where we do our laundry from. And yes, I just came to do laundry if you're wondering where I was going. And guess what? I have reached where I was going. So, guys, this is the water. You're probably seeing like it's dirty. Yeah, right now it might look dirty just for one reason that some people were swimming. It's actually a swimming pool as well. <laughs> So guys, this is our swimming pool. Let me introduce to you once again. So some boys were swimming here. You know boys are a bit naughty, very stubborn and all that. So they were washing as well as you can see they've hung their clothes here. So they just finished doing the laundry and yes, they were swimming. So that's why the water looks the way it is. Otherwise, if you had seen it before they entered the water, whew, it would be very clear, guys. So this is where we do laundry from. Though this section is already dirty because of the swimming. So I'm going to the other side where we the second the cleaner part yeah if this place is that you always do laundry from another part guys so you're, you're probably wondering why these guys are here they're actually the owners of these clothes they even come with dogs you know these are bush so they always come when they are <laughs> sorted security ways so guys please let's go where we do laundry from the clean side yeah Okay. So yeah, you want to have a look at where I'm going to get the water from? Here we are. So this water is actually clean because it flows. The first part where we saw the water comes from this side. Meanwhile, it goes that direction, that that is part direction, yeah. So this water is very clean, and this is what we use for doing laundry. And that's the reason you're not seeing me getting water from the borehole where I always get from. I know you know the borehole because you have made videos there. So guys, let me just unpack the floods and start already because as you can see, the weather is also not good. Otherwise, I carried a few things. This is just for getting the water. It's just a color bush. I don't know if you know it, but this is what we use for getting water. It has many, many, many purposes as well, but that is... For it, for now, that's what I'm going to use it for, just to fetch water. Then, of course, these are just my basins. This is my drinking water. That water is not for drinking, so I have to carry my own drinking water and some little lunchbox here. <laughs> See, I can get hungry along the way, so I'll just sort it. I can eat in case I'm hungry. So right away, here is how we scoop the water. You make sure you're careful, because if you just do it recklessly you'll get it dirty remember this one is not as deep as the other side so you have to be really careful when you're scooping it okay It looks like I'm almost messing it up. <laughs> I've got to be more careful this time around. So meanwhile, we also have our African soap that was there before maybe these modern ones were invented. So guys, how about I show you that because there is some particular tree 
that we get the back yeah i think it's actually this we get the back and then use that you can either, either use it for your hair shampoo or even for laundry because there's a way it brings out bubbles and yeah it makes it easy to do the laundry so come with me i want to show you this as well Here we are. So as you can see, this you see this cover here is I don't know, I wish I could give you a texture. I mean I, I wish I could make you feel it, yeah. There's a way it's very slippery and it brings out bubbles, especially in water. So this is what we use. Hair shampoo, laundry, whatever. Though you'll need a lot of them if you want, if you're doing a heap of clothes like those ones, yeah, you need a lot of them. So guys, this is just our African traditional soap <laughs> and also our hair shampoo mean well so there i think there was someone one time who asked me in the comment section what do you use for your hair i just wash it i mean there's nothing much i put on my hair by the way i just wash me with my hair shampoo and i'm good to go <laughs> so guys this is the tree i don't know if you guys have this but this is just how it looks like please let me know if you've ever seen this or if you guys use this for any you know it could be a hub somewhere as well or it could even be food to some people i don't know please let me know in the comment section please let's get back to laundry So you're probably wondering how we manage this yeah because you're used to your machines in your house like you do everything indoor and all that meanwhile for us you have to walk a good distance to get the water first and the, the only reason we do this is to avoid fetching water very many like to avoid walking on the way very many times to get water for washing so the easiest way is to carry the water come near the water source do the laundry then just get home with clean clothes meanwhile about the the manual part yes we do it the manual way definitely we don't have the machines you guys have and all that first of all they are very expensive that i don't know that machine i think will feed us for the whole year or something i don't know <laughs> so i mean why would we think of buying a machine when we've not gotten food to eat you, you understand what i'm saying so first things first the food will come first before we think of such luxuries because definitely that's a luxury to us So what happens if like I have a very hard cloth or a very hard material, I always come along with my brush, yeah, my scrubbing brush, where is it? I think it's somewhere here. Yeah. Not very fast. I always come along with this to help me with hard materials, yeah? So I won't care so much about the machines like I told you. Like I told you guys, the weather is not conducive today. It's not conducive today, so I'm going to hang these clothes from home. I cannot sit here because it's almost raining. So I'll pack them wet and just carry them like that home. Of course, I find 
<laughs> I cannot deny it. Oh, let me sit a bit and get some energy before I hit the road back home. So guys, this is always what happens in my culture. It's either... Um, yeah, but always it's always something anyway there's no option but when you're going for any work outside home either land out out of home like this or even farm anywhere you always pack something to give you more energy so i was actually supposed to be eating this as i waited for the clothes to dry but oh the weather so let me just eat and run home otherwise guys thanks a lot for watching thanks for always sharing please if you're new here make it a point to subscribe i mean we have a lot in store for you guys thanks very much for watching for now i'm out